Kusaki let out an exasperated girl. I have a reason. One, Horika only knows that person from a picture. Two, you're the, you're the one who mentions his sponsorship to me. Three, it follows that you likely know that person. Kusaki laughed through her nose. I swear to God, if it, if this suggestion pisses me off, I, I don't want a part of it. It's gonna go. Oh yeah, God. If it, if it's fucking dating you, fuck off. Condition. After thinking for a moment, Futaki brought up her condition. I guess I'll. As long as fine, fine, fuck it. Fine. So. What? Mm -hmm. No shit. I don't want to save her, I just want to help her out. She laughed through her nose again. Are you saying it's wrong to help someone? I want to help someone. But I don't to help someone. Listening to her soliloquy, I gave in me. It gave, listening to her soliloquy gave me an unpleasant feeling. I let her know with my eyes. I'd prefer she got on with it. So let's go. Yeah, right now. Sounds good. She started started off walking so abruptly. I had to chase after her hurriedly. I frowned as he let out a loud unpleasant laugh while spouting such grass things. The man shrugged. It looked like he was pretty talkative with Futake. I've got something to ask you. Oh. Fuck off. There's something I need to ask you. It's about Haruka, who is precious to me. I repeated myself. The man looked at Futake. Futaki was silent. I bit my lip. Then I took a deep breath and forced out the words. Are you Shosai Gusai? Are you Haruka's father? The man's face twisted. I'm asking if you're Haruka Saigusa's father. He didn't reply. The man pulled a dog end of a cigarette out of his pocket and jammed it into his mouth. The cocky smile had completely vanished from the man's face. Futaki shot me a glance, then left uh, without another word. I watched Futaki go. Would it have been bad had she stayed? Silence. I waited for him to answer. He spoke to me in a tone that was a stark contrast with the one he'd been using. All I want to do is just set things straight. Figure out which one's the real father is. The man gave a spiteful laugh. A laugh that seemed so very familiar. I know that. Sekin so, does Futaki know the answer? Is Haruka the only one who doesn't? The man was obviously lying. 
Obviously, she is the only one that doesn't know. I sat on a bench in the courtyard, lost in thought. I was waiting for Haruka to show up so we could talk. In the end, it seems like no one is inclined to tell the truth. Not either, not either of the fathers, nor the mother, nor Futaki. And I got the feeling that Haruka wasn't telling me anything, everything either. Maybe I, I'm just too drunk on the thought of appearing as some kind of hero to Haruka. That thought floated to the surface. For someone to save someone, that idea had an arrogant sound to it. It was just like Futaki had said. Even so, if a person is in need, I still want to be able to help them. The same way I had to have been helped such a long time ago. If someone was in trouble, I wanted to be able to help that person. The sky, which had been clear until now, seemed to feel my emotions and grow cloudy cloudier. Hi, Taita. Haruka? Konnichiwa, Rikiko. Benji no tonari ni suwatte ii kana? Anytime. Yeah, of course. Kangai goto? Chotto o yasumi shi yo yo. Hora, shibon keki yaite kita kara sa. Mae, request shite moratta tori, jamu mo motte kita yo. Fuck off, Futaki. Haruka showed me a small bag with red and purple gems that she had bought, brought. She had a butter knife as well as a small pair of scissors. She had prepared meticulously. Where's the marmalade? <laughs> fake. Get out of here, you faker. Yeah, thanks. I got off a slice of, the, a slice of the chiffon cake in the bake, uh, cake box. Took a piece of the slice and ate it. The cake melted in my mouth deliciously. It's way better than before. So, arigato. The one uh, before was just a little dry. Sapazo? It's extra, you know. It's a little different. What? What, what was it? Something seemed out of place. Yeah, I guess that's it, huh? I want to choke slam this fucker. Why don't you pay attention? Pay attention! These are things that you, you you just need to pick up on, buddy. Riggy! Riggy! <sighs> As I tried to grab a paper napkin, the fork caught on my sleeve. Ah. I hurriedly uh, had to pick up the fork that had fallen to the ground. Bum. Yeah. <laughs> As both of us bent down for the fork, our foreheads hit. <laughs> Sorry. Even though we'd been seeing each other every day, my heart was start started pounding. I caught a slight scent of mint. It was a scent from Haruka's hair. Haruka admonished me as she wrapped the wrapped the fallen fork clean with a red and purple handkerchief. Only occasionally, but sorry. The two of us leaned back on the bench again. Haruka definitely cut open the small jam pouches with the scissors. But then she abruptly withdrew her right hand that was about to offer them to me. Yeah, but I've already had it plain. Yeah, you don't have to shove it out. There's still some left over. Yeah, I'll do that. Having eaten something sweet, my sunken feeling seemed to clear up a little. Arika must have been feeling the same way. She murmured something softly. No. You mean the research? True enough, that was a little we could, there was a little we could do if her parents refused to cooperate. Yes. Haruka didn't meet my eyes. Eh? Oh my god, this is so... そんなことになったら私どうしたらいいか今度はあいつが私と同じ目に遭うなんて考えて結局それはマイナスを押し付け合ってるだけだと思うんだそんなの誰も幸せになれないと思うだから、もうやめた方がいいと思うんだ 
Harker raised her head and smiled. I was stuck as to how to answer that question. Was it really all right to give up here? Isn't it enough already? This has, this is a bad end. And I I already know what it's going to be. Oh, thanks. Haruka, Haruka is going to be like... She's going to be excluded because you listened to Futaki, who was Haruka. You piece of shit. But might as well do it. I think it's all right to give up here. We hadn't managed to find a single clue yet. Figured that Haruka had a point. If you're really all right with it. This is awful to her. And I guess that's it for the research. It's such an underhanded thing to do. That's so fucking dirty to do, Futaki. No, don't mention it. Haruka bowed her head. Alright, the chef on cake was a delicious thing. That ending's for, like, the, the, the stupid people. You don't realize that that's not that that's Futaki and not Haruka. Jesus, Haruka stood up and shifted out over to my side, then made a beckoning gesture to me. Why is it Haruka? There's a sudden soft, warm feeling against my cheek. The faint scent of men filled my nostrils. Haruka? Yeah, I want to choke slam you. Jeez, you surprised me. I went to soft chuckle, Haruka touched her right index finger to her, to her bye lips. Bye. While I was still trying to work out what she had just said to me, Haruka walked away. She really is just so random. I smiled bitterly. As I listened to the voice of the homeroom teacher, I murmured to myself without realizing. The morning sure had been quiet. I wonder what happened that I had been hoping for. I turned my head to look at the classroom filled with the usual noises. I guess so. What, what was it? Oh. Though we had stopped the investigation, I still j expected Haruka to show up. But she didn't. With a quiet sliding noise, Kyosuke dropped into the classroom. I was once again surprised at how easily he saw right through me. Yeah, maybe. No, what Futaki did is bad. He wants to end and he's he's just dropping you. Anyone can be like Haruka, so turn Riki against her. She didn't infect me. This is gonna make me cry. I could see Kengo's face looming over Masato's shoulder. That's the common kind of conversation we had in the morning. During a break, I saw Futaki fixing some posters in the hallway again. After gesturing the push, push pin several times, she nodded to herself, satisfied. Uh -huh. Futaki noticed me. Not in particular. With that, Futaki went back to her work. Huh? That was a lighter reception than usual. Earlier, she'd always treated me with open hostility. What? Um, it's nothing. So? Yeah. <sighs> The posters Futaki was fixing were advertisements for the various club uh, school clubs. Ah, so that's what it is. You're not tearing that one down? I'm pointing at the poster that read Home at Club is looking for members. Join us. I wonder if there was some special criteria. She murmured softly while giving her left shoulder a pat with her right hand. Oh no, I was just thinking how oh, you're serious even about little tasks like this. She snorted pridefully. Leaving that sentiment with me, Futaki laughed. Oh, sorry for being late, so lazy. I muttered to her back. It was meant for- it was not meant for her ears, I was just grumbling myself. I mean, she's of course gonna be happy because you- you played into what she wanted during break. As I was walking through the courtyard, I saw some familiar faces. God was sitting on a bench, talking to Futaki. I'm 
でしょうかこの間までずっとピリピリしてましたよ<笑>時々辛そうでしたあなたに関係ないわそうかもしれませんそうなのかもしれませんでもカナダさんが関係ないっていう時ほど関係してほしそうです<笑>すみません差し出がもし急あなたに心配されるようになったら私もおしまいねおしまいにしたいのではないのですかウタキズインフォンチェカドワーズ何を根拠にそんなこと根拠なんてありません<笑>ただなんとなくそう思っただけですなんとなくで言わないでほしいわねすみません私はわからなくなってしまいましたし何をしたらいいのか見つけません何もしない方がいいわよそうでしょうか本当にそうでしょうかクドリフか私は自分を変えたいと思っていましたでもまだ変われていませんそのままでいいのよそのままの方が変えるのは大変でしょうに変わらないでいることの方が大変じゃないんですかそうかもしれないけどだからカナタさんも変わることができたらいいですね心配してくれてるの私ごときに心配されてもご迷惑でしょうけれどそんなことないわよクドリャフカありがとうそろそろ行くわカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッカッ And as terrible as that is, I think her motive is going to be that she doesn't want her to be just around. The more she's around, the more people are going to like try to mess with her family wise. So, I mean, her intentions are very good in that sense, but I just don't think that's the right course of action here. And I don't, I think pushing her farther isn't a good thing at all. After watching her leave, Cut took notice of me. Walked over to the bench. Hello, Ricky. Do you know what you did? It just made me curious when I saw you talking to Futake. I'm not sure if you're 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 talking to Futake. I'm not ストレルカの具合が悪いみたいなので、獣医さんのところへ行かなくちゃなのです。バイバイです、リキ。See you next time! I watched this cat walk out of the courtyard. It was time for the next call. <laughs> What? Someone suddenly grabbed my arm from the side. h a r u k a Please don't scare me like that. ごめんごめん。どうもどうもこんにちは。I was worried when you didn't come by the classroom. I'm not sure. 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 I see. Haruka was just like she always was. Seeing her smiling face set my heart at ease. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hey, don't cling to me like that. We're in the hallway. I'm not sure. 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 Masato, is it that time already? Oh, I'm not sure. 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 That said, Haruka slipped around the corner and vanished. Good grief, it can't be helped indeed. I smiled wryly. Homeroom was over. The classroom was bustling. I casually glanced toward the hallway and saw Haruka there. She gave a small wave and smiled. It seemed like she needed something from me. 
wonder what's up. I took a look around the classroom. Ken and Kamari were trying to wake up Masato, who had fallen asleep during class. Ren and Kurogai were talking about something. It was the same scene as usual. It was kind of relaxing. I grabbed my bag and headed for the door. What's up, Haruka? Konnichiwa, Riki-kun. Hiruma-san. Riki-kun ga asonde kure na katta kara. Hokago ni sasoe ni kita anda yo. Oh, so that's it. Sorry, would it, I would have if I could, but... Shou ga nai yo. Jugyo ga aru nda mon ne. Gakusei no honbun wa gakugyo da kara. Sore wa tadashii yo. Haruka smiled. Riki-kun no so yu tokoro. Watashi suki da na. I guess he said something like that. What else do you like? Yeah, I know what you mean. We headed downstairs and toward the exit. So what do you want to do? Haruka thought, thought about it. Doggy? Haruka pulled out a whistle from her shirt. A whistle? The ones pre the prefix you use? Stroka? Stroka was wagging her tail. Haruka stroked Stroka's head. Stroka narrowed her eyes and let out a fair, friendly growl. You're friends with Stroka now. Yeah, I wonder why. It's like someone living with Cut would do that. Yeah, so that's it. I didn't think Stroka would be so easily tracked. I don't trust you. Stroka tilted her head to one side and barked. It was like she was saying, no we don't. But she was still wagging her tail. Did you get the whistle from Cad? Haruko was playing with the dog. I didn't think I'd ever seen anything like it before. Haruka had produced a bow. For me? Stroka appeared to be overflowing with interest. She threw the bone. Stroka ran after it. She was banked before long. She sure is fast. Stroka growled while still holding the bone in her mouth. I wonder if she knows what she's supposed to do. Stroka swung her neck around and threw the bone. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> and able to catch it, Haruka went over and picked it up, the bone lying on the lawn, and came back. Stroka seemed a little upset. <laughs> I swear to god, you put it in your mouth, I'm not touching your mouth for a week. Haruka ran after the bone. Wow, she's fast. She pointed her right foot and stretched out her right hand. The bone easily flew under her hand. What's that look in your eye? No! What? I ran after it. Damn it, Futake. You can't ruin Haruka for me. I'm sorry. I'm too I'm too easy in identifying twins. You it's it can't you can't do it. I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you. <sighs> I was breathing heavily. It was like I was the only one who actually ran. Haruka grimaced a little. What's wrong? Where? I crouched down and touched Haruka's ankle. It didn't seem to be her left ankle. I gently touched her right one. It doesn't seem to be swollen. If it were, you wouldn't be so cheery. <laughs> Let's go to the infirmary. <laughs> I lent her my shoulder and headed for the infirmary. If only this was real Haruka. The nurse wasn't there. Really? I see. Uh, where is she? I wonder where she keeps the woman's house. Yeah? I looked at the bed. Haruka was sitting there and had taken off her right knee sock. She was idly swinging her legs. Just talk? Sure, but shouldn't you treat it as soon as possible? I see. I was at a complete loss. I sat down next to Haruka, Futake. 
I get to hear the voices of the stu students from the sports club running around. They seem to be coming from far, some far off place. The room was quiet enough to invite that kind of delusion. I wonder when she'll be back. You sure are well informed, Haruka. Haruka? You're right, sorry. She probably rests here on those days. No, she doesn't. Come to think of it, Haruka said she hadn't been feeling well. It sure is quiet. A slight weight plopped onto my shoulder. Haruka's head was gently resting there. You've said something like that before, Haruka. As I spoke, Haruka smiled a little. Yeah, you did. Then I understood the meaning of that phrase. For Haruka, it was a different place than her classroom. I understood the word, weight of those words. Haruka sighed as she whispered this. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Kanata comes in various places because I'm sure she doesn't have a good life, obviously. Haruka? The way she was whispering was so lonely. She looked up at me. Gently, our lips met. I don't like cheating on her. Haruka's body shook lightly. No, oh, what's wrong? Are you scared? Yeah, huh? That's why. We only kissed for a moment, but Haruka was shaking. It seemed like I was scaring her. I won't tease you, Haruka. Why said that Haruka hung her head for, a reason, for some reason? What? Haruka suddenly lifted her head and threw her lips against mine. Our teeth collided with a clag. The sudden kiss caused me to lose my balance. Ah! Haruka collapsed on top of me. Haruka? A tuft of her hair danced lightly in the air. She had a nice, refreshing smell. <laughs> this is supposed to be safe. Haruka? <laughs> if you were really Haruka, yes. Her face was very close. I was looking straight into her eyes, causing me to falter. I'm not. Her hand was pressed against my chest. It was embarrassing to think that she could feel my pulse through her right hand pressed against my chest. My heart was hammering. God damn, Kanata. Jesus. You really are trying to sell this. Though for all I know, she's actually like really into me. Like, unironically. But I mean, she's gotta be just playing it up. What are you talking about? Yeah, I want to. You know what? It was I don't want to and I want to. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, we're already going down this, so it's too late. Like, at this rate, it doesn't matter. Haruka's already going to be devastated because Futaki's going to just flip this on him. On her, and it's like, there's nothing. I nodded. 